Combo, I want to I get your thoughts we, since we're still talking about signings. Um, and I mentioned his name, Gordon Hayward. He, he got paid a lot of money to go to Charlotte, man. And he hasn't been healthy the last two and a half seasons. What were your thoughts when you heard that news? Yeah, I was a little surprised just because of the health aspect of it. Um, he seemed to get injured a lot. And it would make sense if it was Utah Jazz, Gordon Hayward. But uh, I don't think this makes as much sense. If he could get back to that somehow, I think it makes all the sense in the world. Like, he was a franchise guy to me. Um, I think he went a little bit under the radar when he was with Utah. So if he doesn't get back to that, which, you know, there's a chance he won't. I hope he does. But, yeah, I, I was surprised by it. So, you know. Just because you're the GOAT as a, as a player does not mean you're going to be the GOAT as a GM or and I think we've, we've, we're learning that more and more <laughs> every time Jordan uh, makes one of these acquisitions. I didn't even understand paying Terry Rozier all of that money last year because, he for me, he just isn't good enough for me to be like, yo, we're going to let Kemba go and we're going to bring Terry Rozier in. I think on a championship team, Terry Rozier could hold the role off the bench and do it pretty well, right? Yeah, but you ain't got that. Championship ball team. They had yeah. nothing. He's not a team. He's not a player where you like. All right, we about to start building this thing up, and you bring in Terry Rozier. He's somebody who's all right. You got a playoff team that uh, a, a gritty defensive playing point. Yeah, like your Pat Bev almost. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If if you, if you got a situation like that, then yeah, that's ideal. Charlotte doesn't have that. They have nothing. Like he Terry Rozier can't be your best player. Well, not- when you have when you have nothing. You know, sometimes this happens, and uh, yeah. The, but shouts to Gordon, man. Get your shekels. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not mad at Gordon. Um, but if you're Charlotte, this is just terrible management, man. Like, I, I, I'm not even mad that they let Kemba walk last year because to, to give Kemba the max on a team that probably wasn't gonna make the playoffs anyway. I understood. Rozier was 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 a cheaper version, right? But they were literally just getting off the books of Nicholas Batum's bad contract, and so to bring in Gordon now like makes no sense. I don't know why they didn't just keep it young. You drafted LaMelo. I thought Devontae Graham was really good for them last year. Uh, you know, I don't understand why they're, again, trying to rush the process. Gordon Hay would get you no closer to contention. And I don't even think he fills the seats. It's not like that's a, it's like a splashy move where it's like, oh, we, we got Gordon Haywood. Now maybe we sell an extra 5,000 season tickets. I, I don't think anyone's interested in seeing Gordon Haywood. I don't know, no. Well, their thought process is if they win more games, more people will buy tickets. I mean, that, I think every team has that thought process. Yeah. But I, I don't, he doesn't do it. How much more games are they going to win with Gordon Hayward? Well, they will win more games. They are are win we talking, games. all right, so when we say more games, like, are we talking? I don't know. What kind no, of no, Gordon I'm just saying, are we seeing? You right, talk Jazz Gordon Hayward? Based on, all right, so let's just do this exercise. Based on what we've seen the last two years, would you say the over under is 15 wins more or less 15 plus wins from what they had i'm a, i'm going to set the number at 15 would you go over or under that number wait you're saying 15, 15 wins 15 more all, more, all wins. more wins yes would you go over or under yeah that, i would probably go under <laughs> right right but utah utah jazz gordon i might go over right but utah jazz gordon who hit the market 4 years ago that was a different animal yeah, you know, unfortunately, that was unfortunate. He, was it, right. At least he got his bread. You know, we all for the players getting. Oh, of course, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not knocking his bread. Price aside, because as far as winning games, they're not going to be doing it. Right, they're, they're not going to be doing it. Like that's not a. And again, first day of free agency, and that's the guy you're going after. Come on. Yeah. What 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 do you think the other options were? I would have I would have tried to go. I think I would have tried to add a one veteran piece on a two year deal. Who, Eric, who? That's what I'm asking you. It would depend on, on who would be interested, but I think, you know, if you if you would have went after, let's see, let's see who you could have gone after on a veteran that, that made a little more sense. If you, I mean, Serge probably makes more sense there. If you, if you, but if he wants to For the same money? No, not for the same money. No, no, I'm not saying oh, okay. that. I'm saying you could have gone with cheaper alternatives to, to help the team win. Okay. Spending that type of money on Gordon Haywood, the one guy he doesn't elevate. Serge that. wouldn't have pushed going to Charlotte, you know. Uh, maybe he doesn't. That's fine. Yeah. So, that, but that is a stretch. That's that's a lot of money to pay if you're Charlotte for Gordon Haywood, and that's not like that's no disrespect to Gordon Haywood because I like Gordon Haywood. I think he's good, but he's not the guy that you want to pay that much money to. Yeah. Like, what is he bringing? 
to 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 Charlotte. Like, right. I mean, maybe he'll be more successful because in the smaller market, I guess in Utah, if you want to say that, he was All Star caliber, and then he got to Boston. I mean, I know he had the injuries and whatnot, so he could never really elevate his game. But maybe in Charlotte, he might thrive. You know, a uh, uh, big fish, small pond kind of kind of thing. But that's not somebody that I'm like, ah, yeah, let's drop 120 million on Gordon Haywood. Nah, and that's yeah, I mean, a big move. But let's not underrate yeah. Goran Hayward either, though. No, Gordon when Hayward's he's tough. healthy, when he's healthy, he's three level tough. score, really big and strong. He's tough, but play above the rim. At he's, times. Been hurt, he's been hurt for it's two to plus the rim. years. He's been hurt for two plus years. No, I understand. And for over a hundred million dollars. But I, again, there are other veterans that were cheaper. Enos Cantor at five I, million was. I just, I just want to get. I just want the people listening to know that this guy was really, really, really good at one point. No, listen, I had him on my yeah. team in, in 2K the last two years. He was in- He was great at one point. I'll put it like that. the first year he was in- I'll even say great. He was great at one team. point. He, he was really good. He was- he And was, every time he gets momentum, he gets injured. So, you know, yeah. that's that's tough. It's really but, tough. And, and it's, it's not, again, it's not a slight to him. It's more so about the management in Charlotte. Why is this- I understand. That you're, why are you bringing over Gordon Haywood? Why are you spending that no, money? I understand it. If he's not getting you over the hump. I get it. I get it. It's not even make them a playoff team. That's how bad the team is. That's fair. I spend that much money on 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 Gordon Haywood, who's who maybe in the top thirty, maybe players in the league. Is he is he even is he top thirty right now? Cool. Depends on where he gets in terms of health. Then yeah, he's in the top thirty if he gets yeah, there. We gotta, we gotta see that. Yeah. So we gotta see. No, it. no, I'm with you. And that's not to say he can't do that because again, I was a fan of his in Utah. Those last two years, you know what I'm saying? So I know what he his potential, what he can do. But if you're talking about Charlotte, who basically has nothing on their roster, he's not going to bring you to the playoffs. So now you just spent $120 million on somebody that's not even going to help you get to the playoffs. It's, it's, it's so many things, though, man. It's, it's Again, they just got off that Nick Batum contract, which handicapped them for so many years when they couldn't make other moves. Now Gordon Hayward... Gordon's there at least for three years because you can't move that contract. Yeah, and that's that's just a point I don't understand for them, man. But I mean, I do. I, I will say this: though. I do think that Gordon Haywood is better than Batum was when they when when they brought that contract over. One hundred percent. But that's I not mean, saying that much, though. He, he got to be healthy. He got to be healthy. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon could create, and he's one of the better mid range players in the league. I mean, he's, Gordon, he's a better player than Batum. He is. I'm not, I'm not disputing yeah. who's better. I'm just saying from a management standpoint, financial standpoint, they were in a very tough spot. That was one of the reasons they had to move on from Kemba as well. They knew they can't handicap themselves with that type of salary. That's what now, I'm saying. All you've done is, is, is basically substitute Kemba for Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward. All that, you might as well have kept Kemba. He better than both of them. Like, I, I take... I'll and, take and if, and wait, if Gordon, well, well if Prime, Gordon, Gord, Prime no, Gordon was... Kemba, yeah. Kemba's not better than Gordon when he was... Prime healthy. Gordon was better than Prime... Kemba. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kemba, Kemba did make an all NBA team his last year in Charlotte. Gordon Hayward. Yeah, but listen, but we're not from New York. Yeah, Kemba's from New York. I'm not I have only know, good things to say about Kemba, but we know how to we know how to all NBA teams can skew thoughts because Russell Westbrook was second team all NBA right well, now. Kemba's and he great, has man. he has very little trade value. Kemba's great contract. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned into Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 